Hey, it's Devin, Devin's Card House. You know, in this space, oftentimes you got to deal with hate. It's a, uh, it comes with the territory. You know, I'm a new, newish on YouTube, and most of the time, everybody's really nice. Everybody's really sweet. A lot of sweethearts out there. A lot of nice people. I can't complain for the most part. But that being said, there is just uh, negativity. Jeez, Louise, I, it sounds like there's like car wrecks on the road out here, but um, I just found this to be kind of a relevant topic with all the, you know, I, this is my obligatory Power World uh, video that has to be made because they're going around the YouTubes, but uh, this is not necessarily about that. It's about fanboys. That's what it's about. It's about the fanboys for each game who got to come on, the hate watchers who got to come on my videos, depending on which game it is, and just talk shit. So, you know, uh, whenever I make a Lorcana video, I get the obligatory, you know, Lorcana is going to be dead in a month. Uh, Disney's going to cut the, they're going to cut ties. They're all going to, they're selling it all to Hasbro. Uh, don't expect Lorcana to be around. Grand Archive, you know, that game it has nobody, nobody plays that game. Dead Game on Arrival, Flesh and Blood, you know, Wannabe Magic, never can't handle it, you know. Everybody uh, has this, you know, and this actually, um, I have to bring this up. So uh, I was on an interview uh, with um, <laughs> on a Riddler Man uh, Riddler Man Gaming channel last night. If you want to check out that interview, go ahead and do it. Riddler Man Gaming. Uh, I had a really fun time talking to him, uh, Josh, over there on his channel. And this topic kind of came up, just kind of about like haters and people who have to like the negativity that's out there. And yes. I know, I bring my own uh, negativity, mostly to Magic the Gathering, but like I've always said, I feel like the my critiques, they try to get, they come from a place of love, because I love magic, and I just want it to be a little bit better for myself, but <laughs> hey, far be it from uh, those who enjoy it, and for magic, if they're doing great, then that's good for them, but... The thing is with fanboys, they can't let other people enjoy the things that they love. And I feel that especially when it comes to investing or spending money or having anything like that, there's another layer that gets thrown on here. And I think that's in particular with this Palmon, Pokemon, Pokemon uh, situation that's going on. There's a lot of hate coming from uh, the Pokemon side uh, to the Palmon side, just about um, their infringement, um, how the game's soulless, how they're using AI, how they're uh, th th this and that, all these rumors and everything like that. Um, it's all interesting. And, you know, I haven't, you know, <laughs> I'm not diving into this shit. It's just impossible not to know what's going on with Power World right now if you're online. If you spend any time on the internet, uh, at least in the past two days, you're going to know about Power World and what's going on with it and whatnot. Um, a, a part of that uh, to me, though, and I can't like say this is for sure or say this is real, but I do get hints of this whenever there's a little money involved or there's a uh there you know when people get their like hoard you know when people have to think i've spent thousands upon thousands of dollars on pokemon what if uh everyone starts playing this palmon and then all my pokemon is worth zero or my uh, the uh, i can't make my buck i can't make my money because people have gone on to something new the new hype's around and they're ditching the old hype you're losing money and i feel like that is a lot of what people do here when it comes to this stuff it's like, why else would you really care? Who cares if other people are playing uh, uh, Lorcana or Grand Archive or Flesh and Blood or, you know, Sorcery or whatever? Like, uh, why are you hate watching videos? Why are you going on to subreddits just to talk shit, you know, except if it's MetaZoo? If it's MetaZoo, then uh, that's uh, you're just helping people out, getting them out of that. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, <laughs> I don't care about MetaZoo. I just um, I feel like people latch onto these things. I, I feel like some people have just that kind of negativity, that uh, pessimism uh, in their life and how they view things, and so they latch on to. Uh, I feel like being negative about things uh, helps them, you know, feel smarter about uh, things. It's uh, how to hedge your bet. You know, if you just like vote that everything sucks nothing's good, nothing's fun, then you're, you're always going to come out on top, right? Except you miss out on a lot of great stuff. You're missing out on a lot of good games. So uh, I feel like this kind of mentality comes in uh, just for people in general. So they'll, you know, go on to subreddits just to talk shit. They'll come on to YouTube videos just to talk shit. They'll hate watch. They, uh, they do all this kind of stuff. But then at the same time, you, uh, you have that, but then you add an investment uh, on top of it. And you'll see a lot of this with like, I noticed with, um, you 
you know, grading companies, card grading companies, there's huge hate for card grading companies. People have their chosen, you know, their Beckett, their PCG, their uh, PSA, their, um, you know, their, their HBA, uh, their, their chosen card grading company. And for them, look, you're trying to put stock into your card grading company. You want everyone to value your card grading company more than the other card grading companies. Because if they do, then that means your cards are worth more. So uh, wh- what value do you get or what helps you out from uh, t- uh, being like, hmm, I don't know, maybe these guys are uh, worth giving a look, you know? That's why I feel there's a lot of hate towards, you know, other card grading companies. Personally, as I learn more about, you know, um, getting into Pokemon is uh, really opened my eyes to more card grading stuff. I can understand a little bit more. Uh, people love PSA because it's so huge and everybody's getting their PSA, all their cards done on there. So um, people want to stick up for that and they don't want any, uh, you know, these new card gra- grading companies nipping at their heels to get in there because, you know, that just fucks with their cards, you know, and it makes sense to a certain extent. But but it's, I still don't get the actively hating on, the actively going out and searching for things to hate on. Uh, and I, I, I feel like a lot of that comes with fear. So I, I'm not sure that people are hating on Pal, uh, Pal World because, you know, their Pokemon cards might lose value or that people might not care about Pokemon anymore. But I, I know there's a, there's, there's, it's out there. That's how people are feeling. They're worried that people are going to play Pal World or uh, Pal World and they're going to forget get about Pokemon. But that's just not the case, guys. Pokemon has a, a, a place in everyone's heart. Even me, who was like, I haven't loved or liked Pokemon since I was a child. And here I am at 37 years old, getting back into it. And you know, that's not going to go away because now there's Pokemon with guns. <laughs> like for me, the game looks crazy. At least when I first saw it, I was like, this looks cheap as shit. I don't, uh, I think uh, this is just thrown together. Uh, uh, it looks, it looks bad but I, you know, I'm open to things and if you hear enough for people talk about it enough reviews enough people saying how great it is you know I'll give it a chance I don't care you know if I ever have time to play it which I wish I definitely wish I had time to play games so uh, not the 10 minutes of Pokemon that I get a night which uh, you know my Squirtle He's up to level 15. No, I'm joking. I, he's a Toric or Turic? I forget. He's like a tortoise, uh, but he's not, but he's like a leaf tortoise. So I, I just called him Squirtle because it's easier for me to, re- I think his name's Turic. I can't remember. And then I have a Shinx and my Shinx just evolved. So guys, I'm getting through it. I'm a, <laughs> a Pokemon trainer, but 10 minutes a night increments I'm getting through. So I don't know. I just feel that uh, if you are one of those people who hate watches, like I have a few of them on my videos. Hi, guys. Hi, good to see you. Great to see you guys. Please talk shit in the comments. And um, like I've always said, if you talk good shit in the comments, yeah, I will pin your comment. So not as like a look at this guy, but it's like, it's funny, you know? So especially if there's a funny one, if you talk funny shit, I will pin your comment for fun. So, uh, you know, I always appreciate all the comments, even the shit ones. But yeah, I don't know. I don't get the hate watching. I don't get the hate, whatever. There's there's enough room in the world for uh, Pal World and there's enough room in the world for Pokemon to coexist. And you don't have to go out and defend your thing for no reason, guys. Just love your thing. If you have a thing that you love, just love it. You don't have to go out and uh, fight for it. Uh, they These things tend to get on without even you. I know a lot of us uh, like to think that everything revolves around us and that we are the main character in this uh, game that we call life, which look at me on YouTube, that person you know, but we have to uh, be able to uh, let things exist, even if we don't like them. Let people have fun with the things they like. Who cares? Move on with your life. Don't worry about your stuff. And if you're that wrapped up into something, a financial investment that you are scared about uh, people losing interest in it, then uh, you should probably rethink some of your investments is what I'm saying is what I is on today's video. So <laughs> anyways, that's my thoughts. That's what I got today. I want to say thank you to my patrons. Uh, I apologize for not putting the uh, for, <laughs> for 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 messing up the credits yesterday. I want to apologize for that. Um, but you'll you, this time they're not going to be uh, upset or uh, messed up. So I want to th- thank you to my patrons. Thank you to my subscribers. Um, if you like the video, feel free to subscribe. I want to appreciate my viewers too. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Governor Jesse Ventura, to send you, Devin, a little bit of a message, my friend. 
You need to quit slacking. You, I heard lately, have been skipping your workouts. What's going on, my man? You want to turn into a little fat porter?